Not important to do those target smashes. Okay, now assuming my fight time is correct, I should have gotten there in under 9 minutes. And if that's so, then Crazy Hand should appear as Master Hand at this next stage. And yes he does. It's pretty much easier to know how to fight these guys if you've beaten them before in Super Smash Bros. Melee. But for those of you who have possibly a tough time fighting them, I suggest beating them in Super Smash Bros. Melee first before you even think about fighting them in Brawl. Good practice. I don't like their combination attack sometimes. Okay, one more thing I would I should go over. Even if you possibly lose this battle to Master Hand and Crazy Hand, although I already defeated Crazy Hand, but had both of them still been on the field, let's say I actually died. If you think they're possibly gonna uh, come back when you use the continue, think again. You want to make sure you do not die when, in this battle, because Crazy Hand is a one-shot deal. So it's either finish them both, or you're only fighting Master Hand and use the continue. Like so. Well, that about wraps up this video. 
I do have one small challenge for someone, and if they want to take it. My challenge is this. Beat Master Hand and Crazy Hand on the intense difficulty. And I would possibly like to see a video showing proof of that, if it's not too much to ask. Anyway, enjoy. See ya.